So hello, uh, my name is Octavian, some of you might know me as Halifax from the Division forums over GeForce.com. Uh, in this little series of uh, videos I want to present my uh, OpenGL to 3 Division or my 3 Division OpenGL wrapper which basically allows you to enable 3 Division instead of Scopic 3D in any application uh, written under OpenGL. Uh, as you probably will notice here in uh, the right corner I have a couple of things that I want to discuss about. <laughs> so um, <coughs> first thing, why something like this is needed? Well, most of you already know that 3 Division under Windows for uh, DirectX games has a mode called 3 Division Automatic, which means that every time you start a game, uh, and if you have 3 division hardware, that game will start rendering in uh, stereoscopic 3D. S most of the times, <laughs> this kind of works. There are some broken things and etc. etc. as we all know, but it works. So you get something rendered in stereoscopic. Now in OpenGL, unfortunately, this doesn't happen. You have an OpenGL application or game or whatever. You launch it and you'll notice 3 Division stays silently, not enabling, not doing anything. You get the standard 2D or uh, <laughs> flat 3D screen without any stereoscopy whatsoever. That is because of a couple of reasons. 3 Division under OpenGL especially on Windows platform, because we are talking about Windows here, not Linux yet, is supported if you write your own applications with 3 Division in mind. So quad buffering, as it's, it is called, it is supported and your uh, application will use 3 Division if it's present and so on and so on. However, to this point, I've never seen a game or application that was coded with a uh, uh, 3 division in mind. So, 3 division doesn't support the automatic mode for any application or game that is uh, written or is using Windows and Linux. So, simple as that. If it wasn't written for and with 3 division in mind, it doesn't work. So here is where we come in. Basically, my uh, wrapper is more than a wrapper. It follows and tries to implement 3 Division Automatic under OpenGL applications. So this is the part where uh, NVIDIA stopped. They offer 3 Division only for DirectX, no OpenGL. After you actually enable and you get your application to actually work with 3D Vision, you also need to make everything render in stereoscopy, but regarding this we'll talk about it a little later. Um, <coughs> so basically my uh, wrapper was, creating, was created and is using what uh, NVIDIA is calling the interoperability layer. Basically, they are offering in their drivers starting with, as you can see, NVIDIA DirectX interoperability. Starting with driver 265, which was released in November 2010, they offer the ability to render allows this extension allows OpenGL to directly access DirectX surf buffers and surfaces. So basically, it allows you to create a, a DirectX 3D surface and print the content of your OpenGL application onto that surface. Why is this so important? Because 3D Vision Automatic only works in special DirectX 3D surfaces where they have a special stereoscopic flag or signature that's inserted at creation. 
basically this is taken uh, as you can see this is taken from the o official OpenGL uh, uh, specification page and site it tells you more or less how their uh, uh, interoperability layer is working now the problem is that they all offer here a sample code which <laughs> basically is pretty useless I'm sorry Nvidia but it is pretty useless because they only sh give you like how should I say 15% of the actual work involved in actually making this thing work so like you see here create a DirectX render targets they don't say exactly which or how the render targets must be created or how the device parameters for the DirectX device must be uh, set because it doesn't work with just anything there are a couple of things a very couple of specific things that you need to enable in order for it to work otherwise it's not working so <clears throat> because of this is th this guy I can't pronounce his name and I will not uh, pronounce it he basically uh, gathered around the source code from Nvidia and the work from other guys who meddled with this thing and created the so-called OpenGL to division bridge which is a uh, free source library basically which is available on github you can see the address right here if you want to look at it if you don't want to look at it just fine so basically <clears throat> I took this library and I played with it quite a lot in the end I ended up rewriting 90% <laughs> of it but this was the initial or the second initial start point <laughs> in this endeav endeavor so <clears throat> basically my wrapper is all around the official NVIDIA, uh, the official NVIDIA DirectX to OpenGL interoperability layer. I'm not going to go into more detail you can read all around here, uh, all about it here, you can get the source code from his library, you can read it on the the official documentation that N NVIDIA gives which is pretty minor but better than nothing I guess <coughs> so I'm not going to talk anymore about it but this is how it works basically uh, w what does the wrapper support uh, at this moment of create when I'm creating this video the uh, wrapper supports any o OpenGL application that is using a programmable pipeline meaning it's dealing with shaders the OpenGL previously used the fixed pipeline which basically in C or C++ you need to define everything and there are no shaders so those versions are not supported this means that any OpenGL version from 2.x up to the latest one 4.4 is supported with GLSL shaders some applications using an older version of OpenGL like 2. Point something are uh, uh, still I mean the, at the time they were coding using uh, ARB shaders which is basically assembly shaders they are written in assembly uh, the wrapper doesn't support that at this time it doesn't support that I post posted a couple of uh, questions and things on the f on uh, the Nvidia forums asking for people who know how to code and how to deal with ARB shaders to give me a hand so far nobody re uh, replied maybe and I really hope in the future we can add this uh, functionality to the wrapper if somebody decides to give a hand if not we'll have to stick with newer games modern games so this means no Doom 3 no Prey or some other games that are using ARB shaders can be fixed with this wrapper only the newer ones um, the platforms that the wrapper is targeted at it's obvious Windows no Linux no Mac OS or whatever I don't think to division even works on that on Linux there are some hacks and hardware things and drivers um, which I'm not going to go into detail here so we can enable uh, basically uh, 3D vision but that's not the point of this video 
So basically the, the, the wrapper is using or it is built for the 30-bit version of an application and the 64-bit uh, of an application, meaning you can use it on newer games like the newest Wolfenstein game which is only a 64-bit application or older games which most of them are 32 bits. So yeah, we basically you can use it on any OpenGL application, doesn't matter on which uh, version is built, 64 or 32. The wrapper features two variants, which is the most important part and in the next couple of videos we'll actually focus on the first one. The development variant, which has a lot of functionality, I'm not going to enumerate it here, that's because probably it will change in the future, not in removing from it, but rather adding to it, so there is no point of actually enumerating it. If you want to see all the functionality it supports, you can watch the next videos, basically. So, in the development variant, you have the full functionality of the wrapper, which unfortunately creates or generates a slower code. So, you, you will see your frame per second going a little bit slower than normal. And there is, there is a release variant where basically all the functionality, the development functionality is being stripped or disabled, which generates a faster code, meaning the time bef between uh, consecutive frames it's very, very small, very, very small, and I really mean it, we, I measured it, and it's very, very small. So, basically, I would suggest using the development variant when you're actually creating a fix, and once you have it, you just swap the, the wrapper and use the release variant. Um, another thing that I want to say before I'm closing this video is that The wrapper basically creates the whole 3D vision automatic implementation that we take for granted in, in uh, DirectX games. It basically creates it from scratch. And NVIDIA has a nice presentation named Implementing Stereoscopic 3D in your application. It was in uh, part, it was presented at SIGGRAPH in 2010. And here, there is a lot of explanation how uh, stereoscopic 3D works and so on and so on and also they give an implementation, a small code of uh, an implementation if you're coding your own your own uh, application and at some point they are also saying how to make 3D or how 3D vision automatic actually works now this is one part of the um, uh, of the presentation. They have a lot of presentations and a lot of documentations regarding uh, the 3D vision, which you can find them find it on uh, their website if you are really interested in understanding how all of this works. If not, I guess in the ne next video we are going to say and to see how we are going to get started using the wrapper. So, see you in the next video, guys. And I hope I didn't bore you too much with this introduction. <laughs>